everyone, it is currently day 13 of my trip um, and our last day in Singapore. So today's plan is that we are going to be headed to the gardens by the bay, as I said before, um, and basically checking out the various fauna, fauna and at the flower dome and probably getting an up close and personal look at those trees from last night. Um, I'm also trying to get a ticket to the Avatar experience since this is sort of a limited time event. I don't know if I will, but if I do, definitely you'll be seeing some footage of me walking, exploring the Pandoran wildlife and stuff. So that's gonna be fun. And that's gonna be a nice way to spend our last day in Singapore before um, tomorrow because I'll be going on a four-day cruise to Malaysia. So that's going to be exciting and I hope you guys enjoy. Right up ahead is Tian Baru um, uh, Hawker Center. That's basically where we're gonna get breakfast. So, fun. Whoa, check it out. Um, even Anthony Bourdain actually went here for food here, so that's cool. Right now, as we're buying some food, my mom has stopped by this little shop called Yip Seng Handmade Pao Tin. And um, they basically specialize in a lot of like these baked goods. These are dan tart or egg tarts. I haven't tried them yet, but I bet they'll be tasting good. And we got all this other good stuff as well. Um, my mom also got some uh, stuff and some, some of the pastries here. So we're gonna give those a try. Sorry. So yeah. Breakfast. We got the egg custard tarts from that place. Chicken buns, oh my guy, which is really different from the ones I'm familiar with at dim sum restaurants. So, oh my. And we also got Ten. some leek pancakes that are like the glutinous rice flour, I believe. I don't know. And then we also got this taro pastry. So there's that. Let's enjoy the food. I'm gonna try one of these pastries from that. Um, at Custard Tart Place. So this is a chicken bun that's kind of like up in a flaky pastry. Let's give it a go. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Already in the first bite, that pastry is really flaky. And the taste of meat filling. Mm. It's also very savory, very chewy. Yeah, I mean, the pastry's a bit doughy in my opinion. I don't even think that's um, chicken though. I think it's like a tasu puff or a barbecue pork puff. Yeah. I'm also gonna wash down that puff with some uh, coffee. This is Singaporean coffee um, with cream and sugar. So. Mm. Sorry. Um, yeah. So Singaporean coffee is pretty good. It's not too sweet at all. There's a the right balance of bitterness and sweetness. So. That's pretty good. We also got the lomagai here, so we're gonna try it. This is very different because usually lomagai would be wrapped in a lotus leaf and steamed, but they don't do that here, it seems. It's just basically like they put the rice on the plate. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. Um, I'm also gonna get some chicken in here, so give me a second. I don't know. Yeah, give me a second. Uh, it's really hard to do this with one arm. No, sorry about that. Mm. Yeah. The rice is sweet, <laughs> sorry, and sorry, the chicken sorry. does have some flavor. I think they did steam this in the lotus leaf and just take it out. I don't know how it's done, but really good. This is the wheat cake with the um, uh, glutinous rice wrapping, so we're gonna try that. Oh. Although it's a bit cold, I, I'm kind of used to like eating these things a little warm. Um, back at my local Tutel restaurant. Um, yeah, but I, I mean, besides it being cold, it's, I'd say, refreshing, I guess. I don't know if that's the right word. See my right over here. So, another bite. Ooh, very meaty. 
very chewy as well. Um, that meat filling is really good. It's, yeah. Um, it's not as bouncy as I remember them at other dim sum places, but overall flavor is really good. Um, uh, texture wise, also good too. Yeah, filling is, is pretty good in the semi. I can't believe my uncle got the fried ones or the hot like meat cakes. So we're gonna give those a try. I hope. I don't know. Mm. All right, so here we have the fried leek cakes. We're gonna give those a try. I don't think there's really any difference to that, to be honest. Even though it was fried, it's still a bit cold. I guess that's how it's eaten, I don't know. Here we have the chicken bun. Mm. There's chunks of chicken in it, and it's well steamed inside that bun. Really tasty and really flavorful. The bun's really soft too. Yeah, that's really good. Alright, let's try these egg tarts. Um, yeah, they've been on display at that place, so let's see if they taste good. Mm. That egg custard is really... Uh, it's sweet. It's firm, solid, chewy. Some, yeah, I like these. These are it's not too sweet. Like it's it's pretty decent. It's a pretty de decent egg tart. You guys gotta get these if you're here at the pocket center. Gardens by the Bay. Um, I think we're headed towards the super trees. I don't know if we'll be able to go inside though. So yeah, we're just gonna be walking towards there, and then I guess we'll try to get as close as we can to the Cloud Forest and Flower Dome. Uh, possibly might not have a chance to go check out the Avatar experience. I don't know. another mall so we're just gonna walk around check some stuff out maybe get some dinner here not a bad thing for last day in Singapore for our cruise tomorrow now we are stopping by for some ice cream and um, this is actually a Singaporean specialty like they serve the ice cream on bread from 
what I've seen on a, in a video, and like this also, you can have the ice cream on a Walker biscuit or a cup. I do suppose that ice cream does brighten a person's day, so let's dig in. Mmm. Oh. I forgot to mention, I got the raspberry swirl flavor, but like, it does really complement this rainbow bread. It's, it's cold, it's refreshing, really delicious as well. Like, again, ice cream can brighten someone's day, I guess. So, yeah, I do feel a little better. My mom's giving me the red bean ice cream with the wafer roll, so let's give it a try. Mmm. Ooh. You can put it here. My red bean ice cream is really good, along with this wafer roll. This one's actually pretty good. So, change of plans. Um, currently, right now, we are at this department store, which was near the um, ice cream sandwich place. And um, yeah, we just went to walk around. It was really crowded, like, and a lot of good food. Um, so speaking of good food, now we are making our way to La Pusat, which I believe is a hawker center. Yeah, and um, my aunt did mention that there are some good um, satay or something like that. And I'm hoping we also get some chili crab over there. So yeah, we're gonna make it our way there for some food and um, get a night, good night's sleep. Let's go get some food. Yummy. We ordered saute and um, here's my chili crab, so. Yay, finally some chili crab. Finally, gonna try some chili crab over here. Gonna suck out the meat from the claw. Ooh, it's more sweet than chili. Very tangy, but really juicy. That crab is really delicious. Like, it's really good. And speaking of which, more food just came. Um, oh wait, I forgot. This is the leg, not the claw. Yeah, but. Pretty good, that crab meat is fresh and delicious. What time is your comeback? Seven thirty five more minutes. Okay, okay. You want to order, man? You can order. while in line to get these but it was totally worth it oh man these look so good like the, the plate like i can't believe like there are so many people sitting down on the street like these satays are so popular this is just crazy all right now time to wait for my parents to come and then we can enjoy these suckers so even though i ate this i'm gonna give it another try mm. That beef is really flavorful and really works well but with the peanut sauce it's like there's more smokiness too unlike the one at the mom it's more yeah they grill it really well it's really delicious all right right now i took a piece of the shrimp head gonna suck on that mm. there's all that flavor all that head butter is in there you gotta try it out <laughs> it just squirted on me Mm. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. All right. So here's the shrimp. Let's try it. Oh, 
guys all really juicy and spicy shrimp. Really good. Chicken satay right over here. Ooh, that's better. I like that more than the beef. It's really juicy. Well, not really juicy, but that barbecue taste. That barbecue taste is like, it's got all that spices. It's really delicious. Like, also, you gotta always have satay with beer. It's always a must. Ah, yeah. That's good. Grilled meat, beer, what more can you ask for? Okay, so we are back at the hotel. I'm um, uh, just ready to go to sleep and um, be ready for the big day tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, while it was a bit disappointing, I wasn't able to see the Avatar experience in Singapore. Um, yeah, um, I did really like how we ended it with a um. Huge feast at the Hawker Center with some satay, some chili crab, all the good stuff of Singapore. Um, I'm gonna miss Singapore. It's it's really a pretty cool country. Just all the food, all the places. Just it's just a huge melting pot of cultures. That's all I can say. So I do hope to come back one day to Singapore as well as Taipei, Taiwan. And um, yeah, I hope to do that someday. And on to Malaysia tomorrow. I'll see you guys in Malaysia and the cruise.